So this is where fall decorating starts at my house. These two tubs. There was one other box. And that was it, really. And now I'm going to show you what that turns into. <laughs> Somehow I pack pretty well. I do not know how I get this in those tubs. However, some of this is new for this year. So what I do first is I unload all of my fall items and put them on to a table. This is my dining room table. And I try to use my dining room table or one place where they're all together. And then I basically shop what I have to decorate. And the cool thing about this is it kind of causes me to not do the same thing twice. I may end up putting somewhere where something somewhere where it's been before, but for the most part, because everything's kind of laid out where I can just kind of shop it, I can just kind of look around the room and decide where I want to put it. So this is it on the dining room table. This is everything I have, pretty much. I mean, I think I may have one or two other things that I add to it, but for the most part, this is my fall supplies. Lots of pumpkins. I tend to lean toward pumpkins. Let me show you a couple of new things this year. This chevron pumpkin, I just got that yesterday. I think that is so cute. I picked that up at Old Time Pottery. It was $10.99. I thought it was a good price. This pumpkin here, which you can hardly see, it's beautiful. We got this one at Kirkland's. My mother-in-law bought me that yesterday. So pretty. Um, let me see what else is new this year. Let's go down to the other end of the table. Of course, you remember some of my thrift store finds that I showed you in one of my hauls. Um, this is that pumpkin that I made on a video for you guys. These are my pilgrim hats from Gareth. Those are so cute. I can't wait to put those out. I remember this from a haul and this from a haul. And I feel like I bought something else yesterday. But I don't see it now. But that is it. Now I'm going to talk to you about how I get started. So that's the table that's full of the fall items. And the way I decorate is I kind of pick areas of the room where I like to do small I guess you would call them vignettes of decorating. For example, my kitchen counter, this bar, I kind of break it into three sections and do three small, I'll do one thing here, something at the curb and something at the back, and I'll show you all that. Then over here at this table, I take down anything that's not fall colored or that will work with the theme, and then I will do something on that table. Then from another side of the room, the buffet here behind the couch, or this is really, it's the buffet I kind of turned into a sofa table, but I'll do something here that'll be fall related. Of course, the mantle will do something there. And then probably some stuff in the kitchen, not to mention the centerpieces. So let's get started. So the first place I started was this corner of the bar. And if you recognize that little picture with the pumpkin, that's the one we made on a video. I'll link that below. And I just put it in a cute little easel that I have that has some leaves at the top. And these are my pilgrim hats from Gareth. Aren't they adorable? I love them. And I thought they were, went really cute with this little pilgrim girl that um, my mom actually gave me that. She cleaned out some of her fall stuff she didn't want, and I'm like, no, 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 give it to me because I will use it. So there you go. Now, the only other thing I did here was put a little, um, what is that, a squash there. And there's a tiny pumpkin around the side here for when you come up the stairs. And I will probably come back with some of my silk flowers and just kind of tuck some here and there. And I'll show you how to do that because I think that's important for you to know how to do that. Now for my second spot that I'm working on, I wanted to work with that little church that I got from the thrift store. And I have these white pumpkins and I thought that would be really pretty together. Now I'm not 100% sold that this is how this is going to stay, but this is where I'm at right now. This is part two of the little vignettes. I know I will want to add some, um, some greenery or some foliage around the edges and stuff, but I did this. And I want to show you a trick. See how all these pumpkins are different heights, and those work perfect, but my church was too short. So I took, those are those cork coasters that I have. <laughs> I took some of those and stuck them underneath the church to make it sit a little taller. And then when I put my foliage around it and stuff, you won't even see them, but we'll have a nice little vignette. So this is very beginning stages and this may change, but I do like using all one color in one place. It's almost like pulling a collection together and making it really pop. So you see this little cup holder? I purchased this at a yard sale some time ago, and I thought it was so cute. The cups didn't come with it, but I loved those mugs, and they went with my um, kitchen decor really well. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the cups down and replace them with pumpkins. So check now this out. see the difference? Isn't that cute? What I try to do is make sure that my pumpkins were largest on the bottom, small in the middle, and then the smallest on top to kind of stay with the shape of the container or the holder. So now I'll just be able to put some stuff around it to make it super cute. So now I've gone from this set of pumpkins and I have this tray that's kind of hard to see on camera because it blends in so well with the table runner. Um, I purchased the tray and the table runner both at Tuesday morning. They were from a set, so they really match well. But 
remember the avocado from the thrift store haul and I told you I had this walnut that my aunt had given me and I forgot that I got this acorn to go with it. So look at this little th this little trio of nuts and well, it's not just nuts, is it? So look at this little trio together. I just love that like that. And now I'm gonna do the next corner of the buffet before I show you so the whole thing. you can thing. see where we are. You see the pumpkins, the nuts there in the center and then this is a candelabra I got at an auction and I just thought it was so pretty and it was really affordable and every year my favorite thing to do with it is to change these candles out for pre-lit or battery operated lit pumpkins. I cannot wait to show you this. They are Valerie Parhill pumpkins. I purchased them on QVC and I purchased two sets to make this work. So let me make the switch. the switch. Isn't that amazing? I love these pumpkins so much. They have a little shimmer to them, a little glow to them, and there's five on the stand. Now the set comes, I believe, with four. It's either three or four. So like I said, this is two sets and they are on a timer. So once you turn them on, they stay on for so many hours. I can't remember. It'll be on the website of QVC. I'll link that below for you. But um, they'll stay on for so long and then they'll turn off and they'll come back on the same time the next day. I'm going to back up and show you. So because I have the height of that cup stand that I turned into a pumpkin stand and then the, sm the short in the center and then the height on the other end, they work to give us that big tall feel. I'm still going to add some foliage to it but for now that's where so we'll start. I'm going to do a before and after of the fireplace. So this is the fireplace before. Pretty plain. And I'll take you all the way down to the bottom when I get it filled up and I'll show you what we're going to do. But this is the before. So I have this little basket that I got from the thrift store. I showed you guys in my haul and I love it. And I want to make it really cute here by the hearth. Now it's smaller than I thought, which is good because that means it won't take as much to fill it up. But what I did was I took some old gift wrap, which actually this is a tip for you. When you're packaging your stuff up at the end of the year at Christmas time, <laughs> save that gift wrap that even if they tear into it it's no big deal because you can wrap all your breakables and stuff in it and put it in your tubs well I do that at fall also I just kind of save that gift wrap and wrap my stuff up at fall so I'm going to crumple some in this basket to kind of bring up some of the height so I don't have to fill the basket itself just the top layer then I'm going to use all these little guys to kind of dress it up so first thing I want to decide is how I want my pumpkins I really like that one in that back corner and I'm gonna play with some and we'll look at that in just a second so I really like how those look now of course you can still see the gift wrap but no big deal I'm gonna take some of the filler let me show you I'm gonna take some of this moss and kind of fill in those holes to hide that and then I'm gonna use some flowers and maybe even some of these little pumpkins that come in these little containers like um, you can get them from this one actually came from Walmart I think but you can get all these little goodies so we're gonna work on that real quick so I'm gonna first fill in these holes with the grassy mossy stuff As you can see I stuck some grassy mossy stuff in there I don't know what it's called I stuck let me read the package how about that it's called grassy mossy stuff I'm kidding I'm kidding it's Spanish moss <laughs> So I put some Spanish moss around those to hide the gift wrap and now I'm just going to stick a couple of flowers here and there and we'll look at that. I'm going to show you how I do this. I took one flower off of a stem, okay, and this is how I literally do this. I just slide the flower in and let it sit where I want it to go. That is it. No hot glue, no nothing. And then next year when I take this down, I'll have these to use in a different way. So I'm going to take more of these little flowers that I have off of the stem and just lay them in wherever I want them. Now, doesn't that look like I did a whole lot more, like I did a whole arrangement and everything, but I just didn't. I'm going to go up close for you. You can see the little pine cone has glitter on it. The pumpkin in the middle has a shimmer. And then on the side, you can see the moss hanging over. Super easy. But beside the fireplace, it looks really, really fancy. I think it does. 
So there's that one. Let's move on to the next. See this little stack of books? I got these last year at Old Time Pottery, and they literally open. You know, they're just little container books like this, and I just love them. And I leave them right here by the door all year round. Let me show you where we're at. I'm sitting on the floor, so you can see there's the front door, and this is where I leave them. But I want to decorate them for the season, so here's what I'm going to do. The first thing is I want to make some levels so I can sit some things in different places. So to do that, it's real simple. We're just going to twist this book. So that gives me a level right there to sit something on. I'm going to twist this book. That gives me something here. And then I can use the top. Now, when I was shopping yesterday, I knew there was something else I got new. I couldn't remember. It was this little guy. Look how cute that little milk jug is. Don't worry about the plug. It's going to blend into the, to the background before we finish. But I love that little milk jug. And I have this little pumpkin I've had for a really long time that says Give Thanks. Got it from Old Time Pottery a couple years ago for $2.29. I'm bad about leaving price tags on if you can't see them. If you can't see them, why move them, right? Okay, so you see I put that little pumpkin there. So we've already dressed it up. Then I have some of this glittery berry kind of stuff. I'm just going to sit that up here. So you see I have the little glitter berries. And I have one of those glittery pine cones I used like earlier. I'm just going to sit that there. Kind of mess with it till it stands up. So I have that there, and now I'm going to use some of my silk flowers in the top of this um, milk jug. I'm just going to drop some in until it looks full enough. That's clearly not full enough. Um, let me take some of the price tags off, and then we'll get a couple in there. And this is the third one. And I want you to know that I'm not arranging these. Like, I'm not taking them apart and, you know, dialing them up. I'm just sticking them in there to make them look like that. And these came from the Dollar Tree. These little sprigs, I get these from the Dollar Tree, and I try to find the ones that look the most realistic. So there is that little vignette, and it's actually on the floor by the door. When I do the full tour, you'll see all where everything is. So you see this little wreath on the wall here next to the door. This is, an, this is actually one of the pre- um, put together wreaths from Walmart. This wreath was originally 1997, and if I know me, I probably bought this at the end of the year last year thinking I would take it apart and use it for something else, but I really like it there. I'm going to back up, and this is where we were just working on that little vignette there, and then up above it on the wall there is the wreath. I really like it there. Now, you could put it on the door, just on this side, you know, over here on the door, but I wanted something there, so I literally took a picture down and put it right there. So don't be afraid to take your pictures down and put other stuff up. Just know where they are for next, you know, when you clean it up at the end of the season and then you can put your pictures back out. You guys are going to get tired of hearing me say auction, thrift store, flea market, yard sale, but that beautiful pumpkin I bought yesterday is now sitting on these little tins that I got from a yard sale. I don't even know how long ago, a long time ago. I don't remember how much they were. But when you're out shopping like that, if you know your color scheme at home, Go ahead and pick those things up because you can use them all the time. So now this sits next to the chair. Um, you can see the little lamp in the chair, which you'll see all this in the final tour. But it's a perfect place to show off that beautiful pumpkin that I adore. Love that pumpkin. Now for me, I'm lucky because I decorate in fall colors all the time. These are my colors. See that chair? So I'm pretty lucky where that's concerned because most of the stuff I have is going to match the fall things I'm putting out. A really quick, fast little DIY. This is popcorn. These are, what are these? Frijoles. Pinto beans. And these are white beans. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a teal colored rope that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And look, it comes in the, in the hardware section. So remember these things, they're cute. And then I got this little glass jar also from there. What I'm gonna do is take these, the popcorn, the beans and the white beans, and I'm going to layer these in. I know you've seen this before. I'm going to layer these in and then tie some of the rope around the middle, and I'll show you how that looks.
So there it is all finished up. Isn't that cute? You can stick a candle in it or you can just sit this out for decoration. I'm just going to sit it out for decoration in the kitchen. I'll show you the centerpiece. This centerpiece is strictly from the Dollar Tree, every bit of it. It starts with three baskets. One, two, three. They're kind of stacked on each other. I have some of that oasis between them or styrofoam between them and they're hot glued to each other. And then I just loaded each layer with flowers. Now the reason I did this on this kitchen table is because we eat here almost every night. So I like to take one thing off and not have to take, you know, four or five different pieces off. So this is the only centerpiece that goes on my kitchen table. On the dining room table, you can see I have some simple placemats and then I have these little pear and apple pieces that came from the Dollar Tree, the glittery pieces. And then my apothecary jars, I collected over time. I got them from TJ Maxx and Ross and stuff like that. And inside of them, it's really hard to see but I just load them with silk flowers and glittery pumpkins, just like that. So that is what it knows. Again, I don't do a lot on my table because we, we do um, entertain a good bit during the holidays. And so I like to have it simple where I can just remove that and use the tables. So I told you that I was gonna leave that white pumpkin here with the crop, with the, um, the church and all that good stuff. Well, that didn't happen. I changed it. I took this apothecary jar and I filled it with some of the glittery acorns and pumpkins and things that I had. And notice here, I did the same thing with the three layers of the popcorn and the beans on the bottom and then tied it with some of that teal rope. I really like how it turned out, and so I changed it up a little bit. Now the big white pumpkin that was there ended up here on the counter. I think we're ready for the tour, so I'm gonna start at the front door. Here's the wreath I talked about earlier, and as we come down, this is that little piece that we put together. We'll be able to see it at a better angle soon. Then we move to the fireplace. It's getting a little dark in here again. It's getting kind of late, so I hope it's not too dark, but that's how my fireplace looks. Pretty simple. I didn't do a lot of greenery or foliage up there. I wanted that to be pretty simple and easy. Then let's come down here. Now, you know, we did that little pumpkin basket together. I showed you how I did that. And then I had this scarecrow that's on a stick and I just stuck him in there. I thought he was cute. Now this side of my fireplace is very hidden and you can't see it very well. So I didn't want to waste a whole lot of stuff. And I know from this angle, it looks really off center and like I should have more over there but you don't see it so for me that's okay and when we back out you'll be able to tell that really this is the part that you see of the fireplace when we come around this is the back side of the dining room the couch this is you can remember where we did the buffet with the pumpkins and all that good stuff so this gives you a view of the dining room kitchen area so here's that little pumpkin we talked about i did this little tray my friend gareth did something with three little pumpkins on a tray and i thought that was so cute so i had that little tray and i put three little pumpkins on it because i think it really works like that i think that is super cute so good job gareth lots of good ideas from you this year then i'm going to show you this little vignette at the top of the stairs that's where the church ended up so i put the church there with some light up pumpkins on some candlesticks and a whole bunch of flowers behind the church i thought that was cute here you'll see we have the pilgrim hat, a couple of pilgrims. I found the little guy pilgrim. I didn't even know I had both of them. So I put him there. And then here is where that white pumpkin is, that single white pumpkin on the corner of the counter there on the bar. Now standing where the white pumpkin is, you can see the fireplace. You can see now why that corner is so hidden. See that? You do not see that corner, so I don't stress over it too much. And then you can see the light up pumpkins. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Notice how all my home, my house colors are all fall colors anyway, so it's just what I kind of do. They're my favorite. And let's go into this. Any of you noticed this plate is missing at the bottom? I'm so sad. My little one knocked it down. He didn't mean to. It was kind of low, and he knocked it down. So I'm looking to replace it. So that one is missing. At the top of the refrigerator, I have this little fall-colored, um, what is that, like a hurricane kind of vase kind of thing. And my mom got that for me a while back, and I love it. So I'll stick it up there on the fridge. She probably won't remember it. Maybe she will. She got one too, I think. Then if we come over here, remember the pumpkin that you can cook in? I put that on an easel there. There's the little popcorn and bean thing that we made and another light up pumpkin. Then I move over here and I have this orange picture that I put some Dollar Tree flowers in. And then look where that beautiful pumpkin lives. I just thought it needed some color right there. And these guys right here, remember these from my thrift haul? I'm going to actually hang them on this wall. I think this needs something and I think those will be really pretty there. I just haven't done that yet. That little apple has always been here. Nothing new. I always keep that in the kitchen. That is the back side of the pilgrims. Let's move around. There's my pumpkin pie. I love having that right there. And then here I did one more little pumpkin. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the home tour for fall. Oh, and there are the tubs that are filled with everything that goes back. <laughs> so there's the table. One last tour from this way. And all of the pretties. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you got some good ideas. Let me know what you're going to be doing for your fall decorating, and if there was something that you saw here that you wanted to know more about, just let me know. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.